Alright, today we're going to test out the power supply I made. See how it works. Alright, we actually got this little CB radio, little radio shack. I paid two bucks for it at a garage sale. And it actually, this is exactly what I wanted to make this power supply for. Because we have an RV out of the campsite and everybody uses the little handheld Cobra radios and I want a base station. So I'm going to plug the power supply into the electrical outlet inside the RV and I'll be able to talk to the handheld walkie talkies from inside as well as from the little handhelds as well. But uh, we'll see how this works. I just know that these power supplies, I went to buy one and they range 75 to 100 bucks and take an old computer power supply and a couple of little hacks and twists and turns of wires and we've made one for free. So we'll see how it works. All right, we're gonna strip these wires out. Basically all we're trying to do here is convert 110 electricity to 12 volts where you can run car stereos, you can run CB radios, or anything else that runs with 12 volts. You can see this, this was just a regular computer power supply. And basically, there's a wire in there that you jump to a ground, which makes it think it's hooked to a motherboard so it'll come on. And out the other end of a computer power supply, your yellow gives you 12 volts. Your orange or red, one's five and one's three. I'm not using five or three volts, I'm just using 12 volt. And I'm pulling 20 amps, or I'm pushing out 20 amps with it. That's quite a bit. Some of the $75 power supplies I was looking for were only pushing out 15, so we're actually getting more than a high dollar power supply here. All right, we got it all hooked up. Let's go, moment of truth. Bam, there we go, we do have power. Switch my channels. I don't have an antenna hooked up to this thing right now, but uh, you can tell we are getting enough to run it more than enough to run it. And uh, once I get an antenna hooked up, it will work fine. So, there you go a uh, a free, maybe five dollars invested in it for a makeshift 12 volt power supply. All of this was done from my iPad, by the way, so it won't be as good as some of the other quality videos I've done, but we're going to try to edit it, add the music and everything from the iPad, from iMovie built into the iPad. So we'll see how that goes too. Until next time, we'll see you later.